It's time to get a check in from the other side of the river. And we don't have to go to the other side of the river. The other side of the river comes to us this morning. Anna Johnson is in the studio. Welcome back. How are you? I'm good. Let, How let's are get you? closer on that. Yep. And uh, on this side so that we can talk together. How are you? Good. How are you? Doing very well. Y'all got a lot going on over there. We always do. So thank you for letting me be your liaison across the river. Absolutely. Um, it's always. I a mean, pleasure. you brought donuts. That's always a bonus. I do, but only you know the you know the stipend that goes with that. Oh no, no, I know. Gordy it, Rush is not allowed to have well, one. Well, what you said before was not only is Gordy not allowed to have one, but I have to physically make out a sign yeah, that says Gordy is not allowed to have a donut. Yes. Fair sticky enough. <laughs> I, I like okay, well, sticky notes better. It's a, I I was thought I had to like give a big old write it so it's not even in your handwriting. Okay, well I was gonna take like a picture of you and like write it on there like in a little bubble like it's you saying it, not me. I like that idea. Deferring so. blame. I like that. So. Um, first of all, let's bring everybody up to speed for those that don't know you, um, with the Baton Rouge, West Baton Rouge Chamber, uh, the executive director for how long now? Um, almost a year and a half. Okay. Wow. Yeah. We really don't talk to you enough. Oh, you, y'all always forget us. You, you even had Caleb Kleinpeter on before me. And let me just say this, cause I know he's listening. I helped get him elected so he can thank me for that. Okay. When he's ready. Well, yeah, that's, I can't believe that you did it. I can't have one before you. You did. That's, okay. And me and you have been friends longer. That's I know. Not even fair. All right. You, you're right. Well, you're. I've only had him on once. You're on appearance number two. <laughs> just texting. And you're on appearance number two on, on the way to appearance number where we we get to the point where we stop counting. Um, news coming from West Bad Rouge. Y'all have a new school mm -hmm. superintendent. Let's dive in. We do. So last Thursday, our school board elected Chandler Smith to be our new superintendent. Um, and I'm super excited about him. He's younger. He's 41. Um, he's coming to us from Central. Yes. But what I really like about him is that he's actually been in two different school districts. So he actually taught in Central, but he's also been in Iberville school system for a little while, too. So he's kind of getting two different worlds, so to mm -hmm. speak. Um, but what I liked about him and his interviews is that, you know, and I, I don't even know how to word this properly, but he's very academically focused. So um, he's really wanting to take a deep dive into the curriculums. And, you know, with David Corona being our interim superintendent, um, he helped bring the grades up in our school or the grade that the schools were from an F to a B. And so I know that Chandler really has ambitious goals to kind of keep that and even make that better. So I'm excited to see. He's open to collaboration. Um, he wants to work with businesses. You know, that was my biggest question is, you know, you guys going to be friendly towards ITAP? Because mm -hmm. that's a huge, you know, that's huge in West Baton Rouge for us. Well, this is something that the, that the uh, Baton Rouge Area Chamber has taken on a good deal. Mm -hmm. How much are y'all able to translate specifically to West Baton Rouge for those same ideas, the the, the job work, I mean, the uh, school-to-work programs, the uh, the hands-on, uh, the, the career immersive experience, things like that? Are you able to apply them? On a, on, a, on a smaller scale within your parish? Oh, yeah. We work hand-in-hand hand with RAC. Our okay. goals pretty much align. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, this year, and I know we talked about this earlier in the year, the Reimagine Grant is helping towards all those STEM programs and the new CTE Academy. And so we're really trying to give all of our students a path to success. Uh, tell me a little bit more about uh, Chandler Smith. You say he comes in from Central, Central. and Iberville. Yeah, so he was at Iberville first. He's uh, the assistant superintendent at Central uh, School System right now. Mm -hmm. He is working on his doctorate, um, and he defends his dissertation, I believe, at the end of May. So he will have his doctorate at the end of May, and um, he said it was just perfect timing. So we're excited. What are, what are you looking to pull from Central and Iberville that applies in West Baton Iberville, obviously, neighbor. Um, but it, it, are you? What can you pull from those other two districts that make him that appealing? You know, we ask him the same question, and um, I think just having two different regional experiences is going to help him kind of uh, bridge that gap. Mm -hmm. You know, you get um, schools from Central, but then you get West Baton Rouge, Iberville, and it's a completely different demographic. So I think just having experience in both of those worlds is going to kind of help him on his path to success here. What, what's the biggest challenges in West Baton Rouge when it comes to schools? Like, what, what are y'all, we know what we face here in East Baton Rouge. What are y'all looking at over there? I wish I could say something like that, but we've had such great leadership. I know, and that's another part of this, though, is he's filling West, well, I mean, I know David Colonel was in, in a yeah. room, but he's filling West Watts' shoes here, not Corona. I know, West Watts texted this morning, too, so I know he's excited. I know everybody's really excited, and for me, 
Um, and Wes will tell you this too. And Wes came from Central. It um, we were spoiled with him. And then when David Corona came on, I was I even told Wes when he retired, I was like, you can't leave. I'm gonna lay down behind your car. You can't leave us. Like nobody's gonna be this good. And then David came back. Um, they pulled him out of retirement to kind of fill that gap until the search was over for the new superintendent. And he was fantastic. Um, and he's very animated. So the students were really drawn to him. And, and it's easy to see why he's an educator. He was in that field for so long. Um, and I thought, gosh, this is there's no way. Third time's always a charm, though, right? So, um, so I'm really excited about Chandler. I think with him being young, he has a different vision. Um, he's a little bit more in tune with the trends that are in the industry. And so I think he's going to be able to bring a little bit of that to the table. So I'm yeah, my, super excited. My first introduction to Wes Watts and everything after that first introduction has been nothing short of amazing. But during the pandemic, during, <laughs> wait, okay, so if he's texting now, then pay attention, Wes. You're going to love this. During the pandemic, uh, when public gatherings couldn't happen at the time of the, I guess, class of 2020's graduation, uh, Bruley High and I believe it was Port Allen High mm -hmm. drive through graduations. And they called on us, me and Cade Wasan from 104.5, to do play-by-play -play of the graduation That's on the radio. <laughs> and no, it was it was so much fun because I mean, you know, you, yeah. you did it. And everybody, like every, all the graduates, as they're driving through, all have their their cars tuned in, so yeah. they're hearing their own graduation on the radio. Since we couldn't all be in one place together, we broadcasted it rather than having it narrowed down into an auditorium. It was such an out-of-the-box idea. It was a lot of fun. The kids absolutely loved it. They got to have their day while not having their day. Yeah. And it just it, 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 it set on a path to like, hey, I'm going to pay attention to what this guy's got going because of where he's thinking. Well, I think that's why everybody, like, we didn't want to let him go. You mm -hmm. know, he stands out in a field of so many different people, and um, he really cares. Like, he had that, you know, boots on the ground kind of approach when it came to learning or helping students that – or challenged in different ways, whether it be their economic status, um, academically, what have you. Yeah. And so, you know, and then David coming on, he was just as great. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, like, there's no way we're going to get the three-peat, right? Right. But, um, but no, Chandler's fantastic, and okay. um, he did very well in all of his interviews. I'm super excited. He has a vision, um, and I think that him being so young, like I said, he's going to be able to carry that out throughout the next few years, so – Super pumped about it. We're talking with Anna Johnson from the West Baton Rouge Chamber. Let's move from the guy who's heading the post of what they're going to be teaching um, or what's going to be part of the curriculum. STEM is on the rise everywhere. It is. I would imagine in West Baton Rouge, uh, with the makeup of the businesses along the river and whatnot, science, technology, engineering, and math have to be at the forefront. Always. Um, we talked earlier this year about the new CTE Academy that's coming, so no new updates there. Um, however, um, West Baton Rouge schools and Iberville school districts are actually combining this year to do STEM Rumble on the River. Okay. So this is, um, think of it as a quiz bowl. And Iberville's done this before, but now they're actually doing it against West Baton Rouge. So it's going to be the battle on the river. Okay. Um, but the STEM programs, and I printed it out because I'm not going to remember all of them, but some of them I don't even know, which I thought was really cool. Um, they're going to do a math quiz bowl. They're going to do a science quiz bowl. They're doing drone races, uh, Lego building, coding, chess, bridge building, analog coding, tower building, snap circuits, big brain academy. I mean, things I've never even heard of. Like, these kids are way more advanced than me. It's but... crazy. Going back to, like, you go back to school and you look at what's being taught in some of the schools yeah. around. It's like, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have made it. Yeah. So that's going to be the beginning of April in Plaquemine. Um, and that'll be from 930 to 1230. I'll send you the details. But, nice. I mean, we would love to have you come out and watch and maybe even judge. But... Sure. I could do that. Well, and... depending on the weekend. I mean, I'm, you know, still dad a weekday oh it's a weekday I think it's a wednesday okay yeah down yeah so for sure yeah so we're excited about that but again it's one of those things where the kids can like put their hands on things and really get those technical skills that they're not going to get sitting in a classroom or you know reading from a book yeah we talk with uh, eric b lewis quite often about mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the things that he's got going on um and it's, it's really amazing how hands-on how science is different now science is. is cool it is like and maybe it's because i'm older but like the whole, the approach to it in the classroom and outside the classroom yeah. is a lot different now than the, than the textbooks that you and I were used to. Uh, like, well, we, had I'm not the girl. we had shop classes and that was it. And the girls never wanted to do that. Yeah. Or, or no CAD drawing. Well, you I mean, know, like we, I, we built a, we built a rocket, but I mean, it was like, 
and, and <laughs> dissected a frog. Yeah, it was it was so rudimentary compared to where it is now. Uh, we got uh, Anna Johnson from the West Baton Rouge Chamber with us for a couple more minutes. Um, what else have y'all got going on right now? I know there's a job fair coming up. Yes, yeah, so that is the big thing. So every year, Go Jobs puts on a huge job fair um, for Iberville and West Baton Rouge. Um, this year, it's going to be in Iberville. So we rotate years. Last year, it was in West Baton Rouge. This year, it's going to be in Iberville at the Carl Grant Civic Center. It's going to be on March 30th, which is my birthday, so an easy date to remember. But um, we have over 50 vendors or 50 companies that are coming. So we encourage everyone to come show up, bring your resume, dress. You might do an on-spot interview or mm -hmm. you may not. But, um, I mean, we have a ton of people. Um, let me just list some of them out for you. So we've got Amazon, Associated Grocers, Baton Rouge General, Citizens Bank, Coca-Cola, Community Coffee, Cortec, Dow. Um, Exxon Mobil, Excel, Grand Isle Shipyard, um, all of our entities in West Baton Rouge, Shintech, um, Propel, Pocketman Bank, Patriot. So, like, all, all the big vendors are going to be there. So, there's almost 60. We encourage you to come out, bring your resume. If you're looking for a job, we've got plenty of people who would love to hire you. And there's more coming, but we can't talk about it yet? We can't. So I told Brian before the show, we have two big announcements coming up out of West Baton Rouge, and I just can't talk about them yet. So uh, I had a professor in college, and he used to do this thing, like, before he'd drop a bomb on us, he'd, he'd always say, you know, I'm, I'm flirting with y'all right now, but we're, we're about to dance. So I'm flirting with y'all right now, but next week we're going to dance. So Okay. I mean, like, you remember Seinfeld? Yeah. You know how George Costanza would leave a jacket behind yeah. or something just so he could, like, have repeated uh, <laughs> interactions with somebody? And he'd like, Costanza. <laughs> I feel like you just Costanzaed me. I did. Yeah. But see, this is what this is what keeps our friendship going, you know? Yeah, good point. <laughs> Space so much more and just teases about upcoming news. Uh, she is Anna Johnson with the Bet West Baton Rouge uh, Chamber. Uh, also, y'all got an awards banquet coming up in about a week or so? Yeah, uh, more than about that? a week and a half. Um, we have our annual awards banquet. So we're going to be awarding some of our businesses in West Baton Rouge um, on their performance over the last year. So we're really excited. We've added a few new categories. We're going to have an under 40 category, uh, Pride of West Baton Rouge, um, just different things. We've got a lot of great catering, a lot of good things, um, a phenomenal guest speaker that we're not announcing yet. So we encourage you to get your tickets for that. <laughs> Brian, I'm about to give Brian an aneurysm over here. <laughs> I mean, well, we got like 11 minutes of content, three minutes of tease. That's a fair trade off, right? That's yeah, uh, well, yeah. I mean, it's, it is what it is. <laughs> Can't even tell me the guest speaker. I like to All keep right. them guessing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna have you back on regularly, obviously, um, and uh, hopefully early next week we'll be able to break a lot of news right here, uh, talking about new things coming in the business world over on the west side of the river. And I appreciate a couple of minutes. Thank you for the donuts. Thank you for coming in this morning. We are gonna.